Okay, so if stars weren't cool enough, well, they are. They are cool enough, but we're going to get, uh, go on uh, to the next bit. Um, so hopefully this has encouraged you to use styles, but because we've used styles, there's a whole bunch of other things that we can do. So let's have a look at the next section, which is a document outline. I'm just going to ask you, does everybody in this room here look at the document in the way that I'm looking at it? Apart from these maybe, I know lots of people don't like these, I love them, but lots of people don't like them, you might have these turned off. I have them turned on because you know why? I can see what's going on. If I'm doing formatting, it's quite useful to see. That's got a style attached to it because it's got a little square. That's where the spaces are. Can you see that? Yeah. So I like that because I that anal. I need to know what's going on with my document. But um, so apart from that, is, has anybody ever used a different way of viewing your same document? One person. And which way did you use? Oh, drafts. Depending on what I'm doing. Okay, so you've used draft view. I've, ne I've never heard that before. That's amazing. Yes. <laughs> Fantastic. Um, we're not going to show you draft view, but I am going to show you a different view. Now, the easiest way to get there is this down the bottom here, which is outline. This is, you can toggle between different views, and there's draft, and there's outline. Also, up here, view, and there's all your different views, and we're going to go to outline. Now, before I even go there, I just want to show you, if we think about outline, this is really about your planning, isn't it? It's about... What's my structure of my document going to look like? You can use outline view to either start out and create your structure, or you can do it when your document is really long and by moving text and things like that around. So let's have a look at what it looks like with my longish document here. How many pages? 13. Wow, that's nothing really. Um, <laughs> let's go to outline view. So when I look at outline view, at the moment it's looking pretty daggy because I have all my paragraphs here just showing here. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm just going to show nine to level 9. What that means is till heading 9. Okay, that's what that means. So if I do that, you can now see that I've got a structure of my document. You see that? So if I, for example, needed another heading, and if this was a blank document I could do the same thing, if I needed another heading, I could make that. I'll just drag it over, which is giving away secrets. But anyway, so if this, actually, I will do it in a new document just to show you. If I was blank and I was starting to do an outline, I could type introduction and then press enter, and that'll be another heading one. Can you see here it says level one? Um, not feeling very inspired. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, <laughs> what well, they're all heading one. If I move back to my document, I actually have. Can you see they're all heading one here? Yeah. Doesn't matter which one I click. They're all heading one. We go back to outline. I can then make these into different levels. So if I drag this one to the right, that actually turns it into level two, which is heading two. Okay. It's. If you think back about your thesis structure, it's this kind of thing, you know, it's indenting, it's going further uh, down in your, it's a subheading. So that's my little. So I'll go back to my longish document and show you here. Now, if you're wondering what these funny looking lines, I'll just turn the paragraph marks off so it's clearer for you. Uh, where are they? Over there. Yeah. If you see these lines, it just means there's further information below this level. And this plus also indicates that there is stuff underneath that. If there was a minus, um, then there's nothing underneath. But obviously that's all got some stuff in underneath, and I've got nothing that's got nothing. Okay. Now, I can make these things into different um, levels by simply dragging them left or right. Yeah? Very handy. Or I could use, I've got a LAN tab, I can use this as well. I can move things like this. And it moves everything in one go. Now, you might think, well, that's, that's all right, Bridget, but, you know, I don't really care about that much. Um, I'm now going to show you what is really cool about Outline View, if you didn't think it was cool. What is cool is that not only can you create your outline, your structure, once your document is really long, you can actually use that structure to move your do uh, copy and paste and rearrange your whole document. Now, I did, it, I did this document especially because it's got images and things like that in it. 
have you ever noticed that if you try and pick up a slab of text that's got images or text boxes or whatever, it doesn't always all copy and then you're left with something behind or it's, it's just, it's really messy and sometimes as Helen's pointed out, sometimes there's a full stop left somewhere by itself <laughs> because you didn't select all and sometimes it's really hard to select everything as well. If you look in outline view, this is so much easier. I can simply go, ah, oh, this one, I think I want that to be up here. It has moved everything, including all the images, everything that you can possibly imagine. I, actually, I want that to be a bigger level. I've just dragged it to the left-hand side. It's updated everything. It is really fantastic, trust me. So I can put my conclusion right at the top here. If I wanted to expand this, I just double click on this and then I can actually type in here. But I wouldn't actually recommend that this is the area where you sit and type your content. This is more to get your structure and to move things around. So, any questions on the outline view? D did anyone like it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, if you didn't like the outline view, it doesn't matter. Or if you weren't that impressed by it, because I'm going to show you something else that is really impressive. <laughs> um, this bit here is outline view is a good way to come into this because we've just gone and gone and looked at outline view now we're back to the normal view that everybody's used to print layout is what it's called has anyone ever used in 2007 this would have been called document map who's used document map doesn't it rock yeah fantastic in 2010 this is called navigation pane and it's just become a little bit better if I open navigation pane, which I've ticked just there, and if I could use my mouse, I feel really... <laughs> I should make it a bit bigger. It's not very good, it needs a mouse now. Maybe that's why this was here, which I moved. Okay, so um, here we can see all these things from before, right? Exactly the same as before. And What's so nice about this is in the past, people would have put in a table of contents, would have then used that table of contents to click on something to navigate down, but once you're down there, you would have had to go back to your table of contents only to go back down again. It's a real pain. This takes you exactly where you want to go in your document just by clicking on it. And why does this appear? See, conclusion appears here because it's got what? Style. Yes, thank you. Heading style in particular. If it had quote style, it would not appear. <laughs> yep. So uh, you give yourself a lolly for that. You're allowed to have one. If only we brought some yellow lollies. Should have. Anyway, um, see this here? This is exactly like outline view, isn't it? It's like the structure. And guess what? We can do exactly the same thing. I can click this and I can drag it up to a different spot. So I can use the same skill as outline view that we just looked at in the navigation pane here. Now, if you're still using 2007, unfortunately, <coughs> you won't be able to do that. But in 2010, you can. So, but you can certainly still use outline view, and I would recommend that you do. So I can do this. I can also, if I right click, I can promote and demode. So remember, in outline view, I was dragging left and right. This is the same thing. Yes? Um, if the picture is unanchored in the, in the paragraph, it is going to move. The picture will move. So the question was if it's unanchored, and we'll get to pictures later and why they have those things and, and all that confusing stuff. So, yeah, so I, um, pictures, everything is moved with it. Yeah, it's, it's really, really fantastic. So that's navigation pane and outline view.